Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1, Episode 15, Thoughts. This episode is called Yes Men, another episode I love. Uh, spoilers for the MCU leading up to and including this episode. No spoilers for anything later in the MCU. The top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the SAG After Strikers, and I implore you to do so. And then there are some links to videos to help explain why this is such an important strike. So, yeah, we meet Rooster, seriously, and his bragging to Lorelai really backfires. Like, if he'd have been humble, she would have been like, I guess you're not what I'm looking for, and she would have stayed with Jimmy. But no, he's all like, oh yeah, I got all these men, I got these bikes, and all that just, yeah. I told you we'd be together until the end. This is the end. Who are you? I'm at God's Reckoning. And, yeah. Dr. Simmons is almost as annoying as Patient Sky. And... Hmm... <clears throat> Yeah, you can understand the frustrations of both of them, and I'm so glad to have Sky back. Just, yeah, I, I really dig her character. And... Yeah, good conversation between Ward and Sky. And we see that the, the blood is being tested for the, the compound. What was Tahiti like? It sucked. This is not that magical of a place. That was actually Colson the Yelp review about Tahiti. He's he's brutal. Very cool to see Sif again, and you know, I had heard that she would appear in one of these episodes. I gotta say, I like her a lot better when she's not around the Warriors 3. You know, it's it's okay if it's just her and Thor, but the Warriors 3 just really get in the way of much of a relationship, in my opinion. And I quite like uh, uh, J Jamie Alexander, and so, yeah, Sif says... Phil, son of Cole, it is good to see you alive. I, you know, Thor will be so relieved. And Coulson is like, I'd like to be the one to tell him. So I guess we'll see if later on Thor does learn that Coulson is alive. And... <laughs> Sif says, you know, the, the power only works, the, the Lorelai's power only works on men. Because men have a weakness that women do not. And I like, the, you know, it cuts to May and she's like, mm, yeah. Glad to have, con you know, I'm, evidently that's true on Asgard as well as on Earth. Just, you know. And... Yeah, so we learn that Loki freed Lorelai, you know, with the, or, or, right, Loki, the, the, when Loki was freed, when all the prisoners were, when all prisoners except for Loki were freed, Lorelai was one of them. I like that. To sift the hollow table is antiquated technology. Right, and I. This is slightly out of order, but I liked when Lorelai. You know, she she said she would. You know, she notes that she would be the. She realizes she would be the first leader of America, which. Honestly, I think there's a chance she would get at least some more votes. I'm not saying, I don't, you know, I do hope that one day America will elect a woman. It really is just ridiculous, this notion that only men can lead, and 
especially now that we've seen you know they act they actually vote they actually elected Trump over Hillary like I I I wouldn't elect Trump dog catcher dog walker dog walker dog catcher if he ever needs a new career and let's see right I like when you know it's no longer the night night gun now it's the icer and Ward is like you got rid of the 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 one ounce and he like you know pats you know the the kind of aggressive like dude bro back pat and then when Fitz reciprocates Ward looks like okay that was really uncomfortable I I quite like the you know the cop or or trooper I guess you know you have eyes on the suspect yes sir I do and she's beautiful and fires a shotgun and <laughs> could you give us some cover that was very literal I mean yeah do do they do as guardians even use the kind of cover that cuz cuz like why would they they tend to just go into like they use shields sure but I'm not sure they use cover the way that yeah and I I really appreciate that Sif keeps like trying you know we know that she's strong enough you know she's a good enough fighter like we learned that you know Loki yeah Odin Loki told her to bring her back alive but she could have beaten Lorelai into submission but she keeps giving her a chance to give herself up and very tense when Lorelai and Ward, you know, it is this thing of, because what is Ward going to do? And, yeah, so Fitz has to try to fix the collar. And he apparently did before Lorelai got to him. And then he didn't, like, break it again. Which, well, I guess, I guess that would t maybe take a shotgun blast. And they didn't have... I guess it's supposed to be, or maybe it's to lure, to make the lure more convincing. Yeah, yeah. Lorelai made the mistake of underestimating a good guy in a piece of American fiction. And, yeah, I appreciate Simmons confronting AC, saying, you know, this is a medical breakthrough, we can't hide it. And yeah, so Ward was told by Lorelai, take me somewhere fit for a queen, and he took her to Vegas, which very American. And the two have sex in a hotel room. And Right, I, I forget exactly what, I th yeah, I think it's around this point in, in the episode. I like, you know, Sky is like, don't you dare tell me I, I do nothing to, to help Ward. And, you know, the, yeah, she's told to, to find Ward. I, yeah, I, I like when, you know, Sif is talking. Yeah, yeah, Sif and Melinda May are, are really great together. And the the bit with the the sword, which was very cool, can't help but wonder. So Melinda May says, you know, she sometimes uses swords, but she prefers to use her bare hands. I mean, is that a reference to Mulan? I I'm not sure. I'm familiar with anything else where she uses a sword. Anyway, um, but yeah, the the thing with you know. Ward won't kill me. I understand, but you must appreciate that Lorelai can compel him to do anything. You know, she's like, no, no, no he'll he'll try, but he'll fail. You know, that was very cool. And yeah, 
Fitz locks away Sif, and we see the Lorelei is on the plane, and May points out, if I were Ward, I wouldn't run. Because, you know, and, and it makes sense. If you run, eventually they catch up. You gotta take charge of the situation. It's it's very, very clever as a... Because, you know, if the... If Lorelai manages to take out the one team, you know, and she goes directly for Sith, too. You know, if she manages to take out the S.H.I.E.L.D. team, you know, that's going to significantly slow down efforts to, to take her out. And the box is opened, and she goes flying out. And she, you know, we see later she grabbed a hold of the, the top of the plane, which just, yeah... And I like when Simmons attacks AC because, you know, she thinks all the men on the plane have been taken over by Lorelai. And that was also greatly... I hope Ian DeCastecker had fun. It looked like he was having fun when he's, like, under Lorelai's spell. We can't exactly have them, you know, destroy Lorelai's plans. She's so amazing, isn't she, sir? And... Yeah, very cool fight. You know, I, I like the intercutting between the fight between Sif and Lorelai and the fight between Ward and May. And it is legitimately, you know, it's this thing of, you know, is, yeah, with, with May and Ward, you know, they're the best two fighters on the bus. And... You know, there's obviously the the personal element to it. And I think this is... Yeah, this is after May was told that, you know, that Ward wasn't in love with her, but someone else. So I'm guessing Sky. And, yeah, you know, the... The bit with you were saying was kind of cool. Not in favor of, you know, harsh treatment of, of prisoners, but it was cathartic for sure. Good to know. And I like that Sif calls the bus a flying boat, which, I mean, yeah, that is... We know that the Asgardians have flying boats, they don't have, you know, they don't use wheels, they don't use, like, you know, she didn't call it a flying car, for example, which, you know, for, like, if we're comparing, it looks more like a flying car than a boat. But, yeah. I guess, I mean, they do have spaceships. She didn't call it an earthbound spaceship? Eh, whatever. It is funnier to sing flying boat. And yeah, we learn that Odin, who, based on the movie, is now Loki, asked for Lorelai to be alive. I have to imagine that she hoped that he hoped that Lorelai would be able to kill Sif, because I'm not sure what use I mean Loki is you know, can't control Lorelai. No male can. And, yeah, Melinda May shuts down Ward. I like when, when Simmons is trying to reassure Fitz, and she's like, I'm not saying you're weak, I'm saying all men are weak. I know that she is not the best at social interaction. This is another case of that. I have met men. I am one. Now, there's a lot of men who, if they don't like being told that they personally are weak, they cannot handle the idea that all men are just weak, which, you know, I definitely do think there's there's significant weaknesses to, to men. And, yeah, this is something we need to come to terms with so that we can try to, to rise above it and try to mitigate the damage we do because of our weakness. And, yeah. 
AC comes clean with Sky, tells her, you know, I, f I found the source. <sighs> There's Smurf blood running in your veins right now. And we see at the very end that May overheard the conversation between Sky and Colson, and she called someone on a secure line to say that Colson knows, which, yeah, I have no idea who she's talking to, but I'm very excited to find out. And let's see. Oh yeah, the uh, according to MDB trivia, the biker gang of Dogs of Hell is the same gang that makes an appearance in season two of Daredevil. Yeah, very cool. Huh. And in the gifted Elena Satine also Yeah. Play, you know, played a character who uses her voice to control people. Oh, huh, true. Uh, Loreline Rooster talk about Cash. She says that Ben Franklin was president. He was a founding father, a very well-known man, but he wasn't a president. Yeah, I don't know if the if the writer forgot or if it's supposed to be well. You know, he's he's a leader of a biker gang. He's not the yeah, he's not the smartest. Uh, I think that might be all that I have to say for this one. Right, I, I like that the... <clears throat> um, someone was so excited about the fact that this episode has Sif that she, like, appears on the... You know, that's the, the poster image is of her on IMDb for the specific episode. And, yeah, that is, right, and, yeah, I like the episode title because, yeah, Lorelai makes yes men of all men she encounters. So, yeah, great title. And I think that is it for this one. So, yeah. Here's hoping I'll never have Gemma Simmons as my doctor because she is ruthless.